Good morning friends. Today is 14th August 2023, Monday, 19th week in ordinary time. Today is the memorial of St. Maximilian Kolbe. Beyond ritual and law, the more aware we become of God's majesty, the more amazing is the divine care for all creatures. Today's text catch this paradox first focusing on God's majesty. The all-powerful God chooses the smallest of his special care for such is his gracious love. The first reading tells us that Israel and we must not scorn the other non-chosen peoples but reach out to embrace immigrants to befriend, feed and clothe them. We sense a prophetic influence when Deuteronomy says that God has no favorites and does justice for the orphan and the widow. This is much more than the restatement of Israel's law, for like the Apostle Paul, it calls for a warm personal response to the law. There are two acts in today's gospel passage. In the first part, Jesus announces his coming suffering and death. As a result, a great sadness came over the disciples. Sadness is the normal response when we are faced with the departure or the death of someone we love. We all know that kind of sadness, the sadness that engulfs the disciple in today's gospel. To some extent, we live with it all the time. Yet, we cannot allow such sadness to dominate us. We have to keep going on in the strength the Lord gives us. Jesus and the disciples keep traveling on even after this sober prediction of the Passion. The second act has a happier, more upbeat message. When they reach the home of Simon Peter in Capernaum, they discuss the temple tax. This half shekel tax towards the upkeep of the temple was due annually from every adult Jew. Jesus says that in principle he and his followers are exempted from this tax because he embodies the new temple. Still he tells Peter to pay the tax so as not to give offense. In other words, he claims freedom in this regard but chooses not to avail of this freedom for the sake of charity. This reminds us that though our conscience feels free in regard to certain matters, it can be better to refrain when the good of others is at stake. God bless us all today.